greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 16 and verse 27. To the only wise God be glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. 433 verses of this Romans comes to an end. And Apostle Paul is unifying all of these three things, all of these things, all of the doctrines that he presented, all of the gospel is winding up in these three beautiful truths. The first thing he says to the only wise God, only God is wise. Wisdom flows only from him. If anybody has true wisdom, it is wisdom that has been inherited or it is with wisdom that has been drawn from God alone. So with all the revelation that he has, he says, it is the wise God who is the master planner behind all of this, who is the master architect of the gospel, oh, who is the fulcrum, the, the, the discoverer or, 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 or the commander of the gospel. What a beautiful binding of all these 16 chapters where he says that it is the wise God. Then he goes on to say the end of the gospel is not just the salvation of man. Because if it ends with the salvation of man, then it is not complete, but it ends with the glory of God. And that's why. Martin Luther said, Soli Deo Gloria. In other words, to God alone be the glory. When salvation doesn't really end in the glory of God, it is doubtful. Salvation is for the glory of God. We are saved for His glory. We are saved exclusively for His glory. And that's why He says, be glory forever. It's not just uh, in the past, in the present, but forever and ever. Because this is the eternal gospel. By the eternal God, out of his eternal plan, he gets eternal glory. And all this is wrapped up through the one person, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our mediator, who is our representative, who has become our Passover lamb who has become our promises, who has become our Messiah, who has become our substitute, our atonement, our propitiation, our life, our bread, our light, our water. He has become our strength. He has become our glory. He has become our crown. He has become our everything. In Jesus Christ, God becomes everything to us. What a beautiful uh, wrapping up of such a beautiful episode where he says the sprout is the wisdom of the all-wise God. The result is the glory of God. And it is all stuck together through the person of Jesus Christ. And when he says Amen, he wanted the church to repeat its Amen. That is with all that was inside of him, with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, with all the saints together, he said, let it be so. The always God may get all the glory through Jesus Christ. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful episode. Thank you. That it all ends in your glory. It all ends in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. It all ends because of the wisdom of God. Father, we also join our amen with this. And we commit these meditations into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.